I've got a picture I'd like to paint. I've been given this photograph so I don't have to worry about copyright. It's a very good composition as it is. Normally, um, what is compositionally good in a photograph doesn't really work for a painting. But this is an exception. So I'm going to put this onto this size board. This is called the rule of thirds. I've divided my board into thirds just to show you. And where it, it's like noughts and crosses. And where the points cross, on one of those points, you should put your, your focal point. And as you can see, on this photograph, the lion's face is perfectly placed. So that's where I'm going to put it. That's what I mean by a good composition. Now, I've enlarged on a photocopier. It's not a very good copy. But I've enlarged the important points that I want to be sharp and accurate. The leaves don't matter, no one's going to tell you that that leaf wasn't the right size, but they will tell you if the eye is in the wrong place. So what I'm going to do is put this size of the lion now onto the piece of board that I'm going to paint on, because I feel that this, this is A2, and I feel that that's a better size for this particular image. I'm going to use, this is graphite paper, you could sketch it on straight onto your board but that's not usually very accurate. So what I'm going to do I put, is put the important images straight onto the board with this piece of graphite paper. Which looks like this. I'm going to wrap it onto my board. But now, when I press it, when I press hard enough, the image will go through and I can see where those points cross, it's right there. So that is where I'm going to put my lion's head, which is there. Well, that's a good place. And with a fairly sharp point, I'm just going to press This is just one way of transferring your image onto a board. And that's his leg just there. And I think that will do, and we'll have a quick look at that. So now I can see enough to start painting.